Support for Makers, Women Who Make Southwest Florida, is provided by Clyde Daniel Home, Shula's Steakhouse, the Centers for the Arts of Bonita Springs, and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. There's many times I wanted to to throw up my hands and say, you know, this isn't for me, and, and this is, project's gotten too big for, for me. But what if, what if I could really make this work? What if we had this whole family of publishers and we were making this tremendous difference in the world? What if it could work and that I could have joy in my day and I would not feel it so much as a heavy responsibility? In some ways, I kind of felt like I was a typical baby boomer in that um, I was looking for more information and, on natural health and, and living in a healthy environment. And um, so, so I saw the need for a resource magazine, some type of resource in our area that would help educate people about um, these types of things that people were looking for in personal growth and spiritual growth. It was great in some ways to be home with my kids, but yet they had a very busy mommy. It was, was a balancing act to, to do both. My daughter sometimes tells the story of how she, all she remembers is this, this huge never-ending bag of brown rice in the back storage room. <laughs> As a franchisor, um, growing up in a, in a household with 10 people, with seven siblings, um, it kind of prepared me for working with a family of publishers and all the different personalities that arise. And it was kind of always a thing to play nice, you know? So, and I think one of my strengths has been just really being able to get along with people and find what's right and what's, what's good in the situation and helping everybody to get along and, and uh, play nice together. I graduated from Central Michigan University. I started out in marketing and retailing and, and uh, went into psychology. I ended up with an art degree. <laughs> I think the creative spark is, is really the thing that um, that brought me to other businesses that I had started along the way. I seem to have had a kind of a niche for starting businesses around my passions, just, just small one-person businesses. And we started here in Florida, and then um, we started branching out around the country. So it was, it's grown very organically. We're reaching the people that we want to reach, um, not just preaching to the choir. I think maybe women are more intuitive in some ways, the way they approach business. And, um, and mostly it's been uh, such a heart business for me. And it's treating other people the way you want to be treated and, and treating people with respect. I mean, I, I guess one of my faults might be that I trust people too much. and. I expect that they have the same integrity and intention that I bring to a project. This business is such a personal growth journey for the publisher too. And, and it's the nature of our business, personal growth. It really sets somebody on that path of, uh, of their own personal growth. So I've, I've always said, well, at least, you know, you have a magazine full of resources of people you can call that are going to help you. <laughs> when, you, when, you when you're at your next block, you know, your next place that you need to push through. I feel that I've helped to grow um, personal growth, the, um, the green living, the awareness of the importance of taking care of not only our bodies, but our, but our earth. Natural Awakenings has always been a, a much more uh, powerful energy than I am. It's had its, an energy of its own, you know, and, and I mostly have been trying to stay out of its way. 